Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see. You stay and subscribe and become a part of the Money Minded tribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Always a pleasure, everybody. So the theme of today's video is a small but mighty Dollar Tree haul. And I thought I'd supplement with a couple of items that I picked up online uh, on the Vera Bradley outlet sale for an incredible deal. So I will share those at the end of my haul. Um, but before I get into showing you some items, I wanted to share with you guys that I am wearing today this one-on-one -on -one, uh, by Say Moi. Uh, this is uh, for lips and cheeks. Uh, it's, a, it's a colored balm. This one is the one called Smart Mouth. It's the hot pink. And I'm wearing it both on my lips and my cheeks today. And I really, really like it, you guys. I think I figured out what you need to do is, now I've never used like, so this is a novelty for me. I've never used cream blushes or balms like this before on my face. So the key I think is uh, foundation and concealer, and then you apply the balm. And you can be a little heavy handed if you want. Uh, it blends very well and it's also a very buildable color. And then I powdered over it and put some highlight on top, which today is popping. Look at that. But I really like it. It gives you a very kind of like uh, youthful, uh, flushed kind of glow from within kind of color. I really, really like it. And I also have it on my lips. I think it's super pretty. Plus, it smells and tastes nice. It's sweet. Like, I can't, I kind of a nondescript flavor, but it's very pleasant. Really nice product. I like this a lot. So if you guys can, if you guys see this out there, scoop it up and try it. You might find something you really, really like. So I love that. I think that is super cool. So let's get into the rest of the items. So I started showing you something exciting. So now let's jump into something boring like these Scotty's tissues. But look, 160 count. That's the novelty here, guys, because you know these have been shrinkflated down to 128, which I'll still pick them up at 128 count. It's not the worst deal I've ever seen. And I like Scotty's tissues a lot. But when I see the 160 count, yeah, you better believe I scoop up at least a couple of those at a time when I find those. And then, um, this is cute. So I featured on my community tab. Um, I hope you guys visit my community tab because I love to share things. Um, sometimes it's something funny. Sometimes it's just something interesting out there. Um, often I will share items that um, I think are cool and interesting, but I did not personally purchase. So it's another way for me to share some of the items that are out there at, at Dollar Tree or Walmart or wherever I am and see something interesting. Um, so I shared this on my community tab, this little notebook. Uh, notebook, sorry, notebook. <laughs> it's early in the morning, you guys. Uh, this is a green buyer notebook, but I love it. It says work hard, snack often. And it's just like a little composition book, you know, with lined paper on the inside. I showed this on my community tab, but did not purchase it, you know, walked away from it. But then I found it again. And I thought to myself, no, this is hilarious. I'm going to get this and I am going to give it to Hugo. I think he'll like it a lot. I think it's really cute and funny. Um, what else did I get? Uh, so, um, I picked up a couple of spools of this light gray grow grain ribbon. You get nine feet per spool. And this is, uh, from the floral garden, you know, crafter square floral garden ribbon. And I picked this up to use with, um, these, uh, remember these driftwood hearts, you guys, I want to hang these, but you know, this ribbon, meh, it's just okay. And plus I have, I have all three hearts um, and I'd like to hang them at different lengths. So um, I'm obviously going to need different ribbon to do that. So that's why I purchased a couple spools of these so that I can hang them at different lengths and make them look like kind of a cool mobile um, out on my, uh, out on my porch. So that's what I plan to do with that. And speaking of my porch, you guys, I have been literally looking for this item for at least a couple of years, at least two years, probably longer. I've seen other people um, not feature them in hauls, but show them in crafts or uh, Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. She's had this in her background, you know, when she's, you know, presenting and whatever on her videos, she's had this hanging in her background and I have never been able to find this in my own store, but <laughs> I walked in one day and there it was. It is, and hold on a second, you guys, if you'll indulge me a moment, it's a little hard to display because it's a wire wreath form and it, it's a peace sign wire wreath form. Sorry, I needed to put up my uh, manila folders here to be able to show you guys because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it. Yes, a peace sign. I bought two of these. I was 
thrilled. I walked into a store that had a rack full of them. Two years I've been looking, no stores in my area have had them. I walk into one of my city stores and there they had them, a whole rack. So yes, I picked up two and I think, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to decorate these yet. I thought of buying like some, some um, like vine, ivy vines, you know, and just wrapping it and maybe putting some flowers. I thought of doing, uh, taking, I bought this, um, spool of cotton twine from its tool bench. So I bought this from the tool bench area because you get uh, 420 feet of this uh, cotton twine. I thought of wrapping it in cotton twine and maybe hanging some ribbons off of it. I'm not sure, but I also picked up this cotton twine, which is also a handy thing to have in the house, by the way. So I might as well present that to you guys. But yeah, I was super stoked to find these. I'm telling you, a couple of years I've been searching for these, so I'm very, very excited. And um, once I do something with them, I'll take a picture and show you. I'll be happy to show you guys. So, And yes, I am still working on trying to figure out how to present crafts uh, to you guys. I don't know. Um, it probably would help if I learned how to edit. You know, I think maybe this summer I really need to ask Jacob to devote a little time to his old mom and show me some tips and tricks. He's actually um, planning to study uh, broadcast journalism when he goes to college and he takes a uh, broadcast class now at school. So he is an expert editor right here in my own house. Why am I not asking him for help? I think I will. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, ah, oh, that peace sign reform. That was like a super find for me. I was really, really stoked about that. So let's move this out of the way, sorry. Okay, um, and then uh, let's move into some health and beauty items. Um, you guys, <laughs> the Dollar Tree just keeps giving and giving. You know, I've commented on some of my uh, fellow YouTube sisters on their videos, you know, when they show some of these items, and I'm going to show you right now. Uh, I would have to grow like two new heads and like 50 hands to be able to use all of the incredible uh, body scrubs, uh, face masks, um, uh, you know, facial skincare products, body skincare products, nail polishes, makeup. I mean, I don't have enough faces or hands to be able to use all of this stuff. So I have to somehow limit myself, but it's easy to just literally lose your mind or put together an incredible gift for a friend, whatever. But like, wow, Dollar Tree is just exploding with good, good stuff. So let me start with um, this collection. It is the Derma Geek products. And these were the three items that I purchased. I want to say there's another piece out there that I am missing. Maybe there's a total of four to this little skincare collection. But you guys, these are like $15 items ordinarily made by Procter & Gamble. And I think is an incredible value at $1.25. Let's get into what I did purchase. Let's get the old glasses on because you know I can't see. Uh, starting with the Gentle Facial Cleanser, fragrance-free, yay! I love that, I love that. Sulfate-free, SLS and SLES-free. Uh, dermatologist tested, it's a Gentle Facial Cleanser. And uh, I can't wait to start using this. I'll probably use it later to uh, take the face off. So I was super stoked about that. And then I picked up, uh, this is the Detoxifying Facial Serum, 2% Beta Hydroxy Acid. Uh, it's supposed to help with an enlarged pores. Sure, I'll check it out. Why not? I thought that was cool. Dermatologist tested. Uh, yes, for visibly enlarged pores. Detoxifying facial serum with 2% beta hydroxy acid. A dermatologist recommended ingredients increases surface skin cell turnover for brighter and healthier looking skin. Sounds good to me. I'll try that. Why not? Never tried beta hydroxy before. And the last item I got was the Nourishing Facial Night Cream with the niacinamide. Ooh, I said that very well, niacinamide. Did I say it right now? Niacinamide, yeah, I think I did. 3.5%. And this is a uh, 1.7 ounce tub of the Nourishing Facial Cream. Cool, can't wait to uh, start using that. And then here, might as well leave the glasses on because again, who am I kidding? I picked up, these are so cute, the Karis uh, First Aid Kit in the little tin boxes. This comes in a variety of different uh, colors and styles. They had, um, at my store, they had the ones with that, the pink tin. They had the um, one with dogs printed all over it, which I thought was super cute. But you know I had to get the ones with the peace signs. I mean, come on, you guys, of course. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna open it so we can see the contents real quick. 
Look at that tin. How stinking cute is that? I love it. I'm going to put this in my car. And, oh my goodness, let's see the inside. Here are the Band-Aids. Yin Yang Band-Aids. Smiley faces. Oh, this is so me. We got some plain blue ones. Wow, too, too cute. And what else comes inside? You get some tape, just a tiny roll. And you get a couple of gauze pads. So pretty basic um, little first aid kit, but there is plenty of room inside the tin. See, this is everything inside. There's plenty of room inside to put alcohol prep pads, additional bandages, uh, whatever you think you might need. A little a tube of um, antibiotic cream would be helpful in here. Absolutely. But it comes in this awesome little tin, which I plan to keep in my car. Yep. And then... Finally, here's the last of our uh, Dollar Tree haul. I found, you guys, a complete rainbow of these prideful body scrubs. It's like a whole assortment of body scrubs, and it comes with a loofah. How cool is that? So, starting with our red, orange, and yellow. Let's see. The red is bergamot and coriander. The orange is orange and mango. And the yellow is Tahitian vanilla. Wow, you guys, that sounds awesome. Plus, you get the poof, which I'm very excited about. This is for me, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and let's see how big. Sorry, guys, for the crinkling. I'm going to just take the loofah out. Oh, my gosh, look at the loofah. I love it. I love it. Even the little hanger. It's so cool is rainbow. This is everything, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Cool, cool, cool. I love it. I love it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to start using those. And then let's look at our green, blue, purple. Uh, green is sage and citrus. Uh, the blue is green tea and honey. And our purple is lavender and sandalwood. And also comes with the awesome loofah. Yes, that is so great. That is just too, too awesome. Dollar Tree just keeps bringing it and bringing it. And I am here for all of it. Well, not all of it. I'm here for as much as I can possibly use or give away to a friend. That's what I'm trying to do here. So uh, that concludes the Dollar Tree portion of our haul. So let me show you the Vera Bradley items I got. Oh my goodness. And I've got my receipt here to uh, so I can remember prices. So first I picked up, um, I need a backpack. I needed a backpack. So the backpack I took with me to California um, last month was one of Jacob's old backpacks. And frankly, it was a little bit gross looking, but it did the trick and it was fine. So I decided I was going to get my own backpack and I picked up uh, this cotton, all cotton backpack in just this beautiful solid blue from Vera Bradley. You guys, the retail on this, this is called the Campus Backpack in Blue Aster. Retail on this, do you see this? MSRP, $125. Now, you guys, I like Vera Bradley. I have a couple of their hand, of uh, her handbags, and um, it, the stuff is very, very well made. But would I ever pay $125 for a, any backpack? No, I would not. Certainly no. Uh, this was with, uh, so this was in the outlet on clearance with an additional 30% off, and my total price on it was $21.35 for this big backpack that, here's the inside. Isn't that pretty? And it's um, got it's a dual compartment, so there's actually another compartment like you could put a laptop in there. It's padded, you know. It's definitely meant to be like a student's backpack, but of course this is for me. It's got the pockets on the side for your water bottle, one on each side. Lovely padded adjustable, you know, straps, and um, plenty of pocket space. You know, it's got a nice. It's got two nice big pockets actually on the front. See, it's got this one, and. Where's my zipper? This other one, this, uh, where is my zipper? Oh, here it is. It's hard to see with all this blue on blue. There we go. So I've got this pocket. It's so I've got a total of four compartments in this thing. Laptop sleeve, main compartment. Uh, this one with some organizing pockets on the inside. And the outermost pocket for $21.35. And to gussy it up, I plan to... Um, um, put some patches on this. So I'm very excited to do that and to have purchased this for $21.35. Such a good deal. And then 
This is big, you guys. So hold on. I hope I can get it all here on camera. So, um, I, you know, I, I have a nice like carry on type suitcase, you know, one of those roller bags or whatever, but you don't always need that exactly when you're traveling. So I figured for a weekender bag, um, for like road trips and whatnot, I picked up one of their, uh, duffels. Oh, I don't even know if I can show you guys. Look how big this is. <laughs> Look how gigantic here. You don't need to see my face. Look how big this is, you guys. Wow. This is awesome. And it's got double shoulder strap here. And it also comes with you know, it's got the D-rings attached, and on the inside of the bag, you get a big, you get another strap with the padding that you can attach to the outside, so you can even crossbody it if you wanted to. Um, but this is huge, and it's got this beautiful dark green lining. It's kind of hard to see you all. This is not the easiest to show. <laughs> QVC's not coming to hire me anytime soon here, guys. <laughs> but, um... I love this bag. It also has, um, it has like inner pockets, uh, inner mesh pockets. It's going to be too difficult to show you guys. Um, there's a large pocket on the outside here on actually on either end. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful duffel bag This in this green with white paisley. MSRP on this. I don't know if you guys can see that says $120. They're calling this the large travel duffel. Uh, in dark green and white bandana is the pattern. Suggested retail $120, but your girl hair paid $22.05. Well worth that price. I see these at TJ Maxx new, you know, for $49.99, which is not a bad deal either. <laughs> but uh, it's not $22.05. So anyway, very proud of this. And Hugo and I are going out of town uh, for Memorial Day weekend. So this will be coming with me as my travel bag. I'm very excited about it. Anyway, you guys, uh, that concludes today's hauls. Uh, thank you so much uh, for sticking around and for your continued support. I really appreciate it so much. Uh, take care, everybody, and I bid you all